Okay, okay, hello, hello. <clears throat> Testing one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, um, I think we're good. You can let me know because uh, I'm having I'm having a little bit of a trouble with connection. I think I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, so I'm going to read some comments uh, so we can uh, be sure that we are uh, good here. Okay, um, let me know if you if you heard the the bass correctly without delay and um, and if you can if you can hear everything good I think we can start okay um, so welcome welcome to another uh, Friday and the end of the week of the of the work I guess um, um this is an instance for for you to give me your questions about um anything you want really uh, bass music related uh, theory we cover many things i think and, and if you're not new you you already know but uh, i'm always doing kind of like an intro i guess um so um things you can do here it's specifically asking me about a technique things we can go through about uh, about specific songs um, that we can go uh, over and over trying to to get some parts uh, that maybe need more explanation uh, and of course uh, questions about um, music in general why not um, I'm trying to do my best with all of this okay so I'll remind you um, to follow on the socials, of course, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter. I don't use it that much, I think. Um, subscribe, of course. And of course, um, if you want, go to Patreon and support my work. Um, that is really important because just it's just people uh, that maintain really this channel going. And, uh, and actually my, my whole career really <laughs> on this uh, youtube thing um you can also uh, donate if you want uh, just if you want of course uh, link in the description and uh, super chat i think is it's it's on too so uh said that i think we can we can kind of like a, give it a little bit of a start over here um I'm going to say hello to any one of you coming. Uh, of course, I'm as usual. Sorry for my my English. I'm think I'm improving, but uh, it's it's I have the accent, you know. Um, so, Senovast, uh, Sand the Trooper, uh, Billy Alexander, Guy Flaxman, Mister Joe Lucha, uh, Rico Aggressor. And many of you that will come hello and um and welcome so i'm going to start really quick with some um, ideas over here um mr xenovast has a question that it's really interesting of course uh, any tips for let me know okay i need to go up uh any tips for memorizing notes on the fretboard? On the fretboard, okay. Um, 
we're going to talk a little bit about this because I think it's it's a bit important. I I usually talk about this, but uh, but we can always go through some other things. So uh, let's call these notes on fretboard. I'm trying to write um, things to create uh, later uh, some timestamps, so I have my time for that. So notes on fretboard. Uh, memorizing, I think, is not necessarily, uh, and I think for me, it's not the best thing to do. Uh, usually, you, when you memorize something, you don't get the 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 links of knowledge that you have between all of those uh, things that you you have memorized. Okay, I remember I don't know in school when I had to really memorize something. Usually, I, I'd end up uh, not knowing anything about the, the thing. So we need to always relate and always um, kind of like a, create a conversation of, of all this knowledge that we can uh, actually achieve. Um, so when you're trying to know your notes on the fretboard, I think for me it's, it's vital that you know uh, your open strings, of course, because if you don't know your open strings, uh, you n you don't know even how to tune your bass. You don't know many things. So the bass in general has, uh, as you already know, of course, I I hope so. Um, it has your E, A, D, and G. Okay, those are open notes, and um, there are some tricks, of course, uh, and some knowledge that you need to know if you want to memorize. Um, kind of like in a in a grinding way <laughs> if you want to just think about um, how can I find a C in the in the G string for example I just can go through and and and, and with my knowledge that I have um, frets are separated by semitones maybe I can go uh, G G sharp A A sharp B C right and find it that way, but that is not very effective if you want to really memorize, uh, not memorize, but getting all the notes, really. Um, so for me, it's important to, to have a use of the of the things that the instrument uh, will give you, and that is intervals, and that is uh, knowing um, what is going on between the dots over here, between the, the, the middle positions, the 3, the 5, the 7, and the 9, and of course the 12 uh, frets. Um, I think those are, are good references for, for, for knowing some notes that will give you uh, the idea of, of, of uh, relating to whatever note you want, okay? So I do a process anytime I, I, I don't know, I pick this note, okay? So I do a process most of the time by knowing this note, I I don't know it by by just by heart by memorizing it. Maybe I should. Maybe you should. It would be great. But uh, for me, it works better just to to apply it into a context or apply it into a relationship with other strings. So for me, this is a C, and uh, and I know it first because I I have some memory that um, all the octaves are always in the same. Um, position in bass okay any octave will always be applied in the same physical interval and for that uh, I usually go okay this I don't know the note really by by just knowing it but uh, easily I go okay it's it's in it's, it's the octave of, of this note that I already know to see and I, I don't know why I know I know this note really because I'm just accustomed to do it uh, um, in matter of, of scales and many other things okay as long as you as you play more you will get more reference to know more uh, notes okay so besides all of this that I'm uh, tips really that I'm giving uh, always go through your scales uh, and, uh, and arpeggios of course if you want to get more and more into what are the notes, of course? But for me, if you want to start open strings, knowing them by heart, really, G, um, D, A, E. Sorry if I don't do it that great because uh, I always have to, in my mind, I have to think about the, the American uh, 
system for notes uh, and I, I'm all, all my life I, I've been saying it and uh, don't me okay um, so if you want to know your open strings you have it then you will know that in the 12th fret you will repeat uh, the name of the notes that is really important of course so you have again again G again D again A again E okay so from there I would encourage you to to have maybe memorize or, or maybe applied uh, what happens in the fifth fret for every for every um, note for every open string okay so an, an E in the fifth string is an A okay here's a D here's a G here's a C okay you can know that just by knowing it or you can just apply you know the 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 semitone by semitone or tone by, by tone uh, deal okay I, I remember doing this and, and it wasn't very effective but uh, I wanted to know which note is this and I, I went from the open string onto that note uh, just by semitones and uh, after a while you get uh, more accustomed to do it in, in, a, in a faster way okay so that is one thing and I would encourage you also to know uh, at least some positions of the major scale that will give you more and more uh, relation because we all know uh, C D E F G A B C or or do re mi fa sol la si do um, so you can apply that to know notes in between okay for me the rules are really important and the first rule is knowing what happens when you go from one fret to another and that is that you go up or down a semitone or a whole tone if you skip two uh, frets okay and after that you can just apply it and apply it even more okay so I would encourage you um, to check some of the covers I have some of the songs and stop right uh, in whatever moment you're playing try to stop and and think about the note that you're executing okay it's not just a number and, and I, I don't want to be misunderstood when I when I use tablature I want you to know uh, the name of the notes really okay you can associate uh, which whichever number into uh, your note because that will give you even more background to understand some things okay you can just go by numbers uh, as as equal as you can't go by by shapes on a score okay you will you will always need to relate into the name of the note one way or another okay one one type of notation or another so uh, it would be really important to to stop in the note on say in saying okay which note is it I don't know how do I get to that note how do I relate mm -hmm. to some note that I already know um, and I go in between that knowing um, my semitones or whole tones I don't know and then trying to apply it into the harmony that I'm putting uh, right up the the tablature and you will notice there there's a note that will probably be part of the chord and you can relate all of those things okay uh, but yeah by memorizing and and, and kind of like wrapping this all up uh, I think it's important to know your open strings of course uh, know what happens in certain types of um, frets uh, in the 12 what happens in the fifth the the seventh the the, the marks with a the, the marked um, frets I would I would I would know them always okay and always try to remind yourself that the intervals are applied in bass all in all the fretboard in the same way okay so an octave will always be here and I will know exactly that if I have an A over here you will have another A over here okay and those intervals can uh, go even farther if you know them even more you can know what is the fifth from A and I know it's E and I already know this note just by saying it okay by saying the interval um, so intervals re again really important always to to understand them maybe you can ask me if you don't know okay but uh, we need to move on I hope uh, that helped uh, so 
let's move on. It's funny because uh, at the first uh, minutes of this, I see a lot of comments passing through, and uh, maybe people kind of like uh, give up in a <laughs> in your in their question. But uh, I'm sorry, I can't really read them all, and maybe you need to repeat it a little bit if you want to to get more attention because I usually expand too much in one question. So that is the deal. Of course, you can donate if you want uh, to get a more important uh, thing okay um okay someone is talking about uh, strumming i'm going to do it a little bit just a little bit because i'm i'm always talking about this i think you have a, a whole uh, live stream about, about strumming okay but i'm going to say it um really fast okay really fast strumming in bass, it's applied in in I think uh, three or four ways uh, that I've seen. Of course, you can uh, just all the time innovate, uh, really. But um, you can have the the usual guitar strumming, you know. Uh, you can have the the less Claypool thing. I I would call it. I don't know. Uh, it's two two finger or maybe even three finger strumming in, in this way, you know. You know, with all those uh, songs that you already know, you know? or. those um, little things it's usual um, for that basis to, to do it this way um, I'm going to explain all of those uh, three I think the third one it's uh, more in a flamenco style and it's a little bit more like this with a more uh, separated uh, fingers action those are the ones that I've seen most of the time you can uh, tell me if, if you if you if you've seen more but uh of course the first one just strumming with a kind of like in a guitar feel you need to go into guitar and and, and and for explaining that you just need to get your your uh, your wrist a little bit loose and try to use of course your fingernails to go down with three or four fingers not usually with the little finger just this and uh, and as you know if, if you've played some guitar you need to kind of like a let your hand go down with the with the weight of the of the of the of the arm itself just relaxed and always with a with a feel you know with um with a marked tempo all the time and then the up stroke it's always made by the by the thumb the the nail of the thumb so you go up and down so you have some examples of this i don't remember i think in is in a snow uh, from red hot chili peppers i don't remember then you have some some uh, chords uh, and in many other songs really you will have s some appliance of this that I really like in some cases you, know? you can do some things some interesting things but always trying to to go in a, in a more high uh, register of the instrument if you do it over here it would be just uh, noise okay um, and for the the less Claypool type of a of a of a strumming, you just need to kind of. This is optional, but but the, he usually just stops with his finger over here just to give it a more uh, of an of a um, of an, a structure, I guess, of a, of execution. But the deal is using just two or maybe three fingers again with your nails going down in this motion. It's kind of like a 
just expanding your your hand okay like this but just with these fingers so you go always trying to apply nails because if you're doing it with fingers you will get probably damage uh, so try to to be accurate and try to do it slow with whatever you want here on top of course and um, here's the thing for going up you need to use the tip of your fingers and and that will sound a little bit better if you have some time playing because you will have a little bit of, a, of hardness I think I guess uh, on the tip of your fingers and it will sound a little bit more like strumming uh, but you will always need to get more attention to the upstroke to get more um, more attack on it so it's down and up so it's expanding and uh, contracting It's usually applied in, in that way. And apply uh, and just putting your, your thumb over here. You can just not put it and do something like this. Okay, and for the third one I, I it's just kinda like the same but uh, just separating the fingers. They all go in different uh, time to attack, so I think that is a little bit applied uh, onto um, Jerry, Jerry Lee. I think he has some some uh, other types of strumming, and I've seen him use uh, this one. I think you can do it like this, and um, even with one finger. You can apply it two or one. Okay, so those are the types of strumming, uh, really fast. Okay, but um, we're going to go with some other question. I hope uh, that uh, visual part helped a little bit. Okay, um, always try to apply this um, in a good context. Okay, think about uh, what you're doing, especially. Try not to go in in a in a too low register, as I said. Um, so that's it. Uh, you use the thumbnail on the upstroke of the strum. If you're talking about the this type of strum, yes, it's always with fingers, with with nails. Okay. you do it with fingers and it, it won't sound uh, that with with that uh, sharp attack that we want okay I like it to I like to use it in a in a really high register just to give it more like a guitar feel I guess I don't know okay it can be used. Um, um, yeah, it's kind of like you have to have a, a little bit of a callus um, in your fingertips, but you can do it just by going up uh, with a with a fast motion. Okay, it's most of the time applying good motion and, and doing it fast. Okay. But try not to get damaged with all of this, okay? It's it's not rough. It's not never ag aggressive in a. Even if it sounds aggressive, it's never aggressive in a, in execution, okay? It's always subtle. subtle. Um, okay. Someone is asking about. Uh, I like to know about ghost notes in slap. I find them pretty difficult. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, okay? Um, so give me some time. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, ghost notes uh, really are just uh, applied kind of like in the same way for for plucking and for uh, slapping. Um, if you go into just plucking, the way as you already probably know, it's just resting your hands over here. Uh, always trying to use a lot of fingers okay you don't just use two or one finger to to give a a good ghost note it's usually with one you get a lot of harmonics uh, with two even you you get a little bit and, and i like to use kind of like my whole hand if i can to apply a, a really good uh, muted and percussive uh, ghost note okay that is good sound for me, okay? Um, that is the goal of a ghost note, trying to apply more percussion into the instrument. So, uh, the deal with applying it, um, it's not just doing it by itself, it's, it's when you're uh, mixing it up with uh, notes and ghost notes. So if you do something like this, That thing is the difficult thing, just going through over and over over this. So let's let's uh, throw it into slap. Okay, we have some slap uh, riff. I don't know. And I'm not using any um, ghost notes really. But probably if I if I use ghost notes, this would sound uh, probably better, you know. So the the main importance I think for ghost notes in slab, it's guiding you to create to recreate more. Of a, of, a, of a drum feel because in, in drums in general just you're always maintaining a, a beat okay so it's it's never uh, uh, it's never in slap in, in 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 not that many cases it's just a slapping and trying to maintain uh, a good um, groove with just this you know It's always you know, trying to, to apply ghost. Right? Okay, and and the usual, I don't know. So it's very important, I think it's more important to, to uh, apply it uh, well into ghost notes. So um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just going to apply a little bit of, a, of an exercise, if you, if you can say, I don't know. Yeah. There is, there is the thing. All of those ghost notes uh, will give you more, um, more uh, ability to to uh, achieve something like this. Okay, it's diff. It's I think it's even more difficult to do it without them. Compared to this. Something like this. Yeah. 
yeah. So uh, that feel that uh, that thing will give you more um, of the groove that you need. So going into the technique, uh, same thing. Trying to use a lot of uh, fingers and just doing this really slow. Okay, so slapping and popping with your whole hand over here and trying to practice this different patterns okay and uh, first just slapping and popping um, dun, dun, dun. okay it should all be really even applied really even evenly and each note should play kind of like in the same uh, dynamic level okay in the same volume so then you can apply more types of rhythms you can um, go with uh, two slaps one pop in a triplet manner or you can do it or you can go um, um, this is the more usual, I think, repeating the slap. Uh, when you're trying to repeat a uh, fast popping, you're doing you're doing with the other fingers, I think. So you can go. You can create your own exercises. After that, I think it it wouldn't be that that difficult. But when you go into notes and this, it it, it would be a, maybe a little bit more difficult. Um, so try to do this. Uh, so how how it how it went? Yeah. There we have this. It's it's really slowed down. It will be something like this. So we have uh, both uh, patterns that I just applied, um, that I just said, applied into this. Yeah, so we have a, it's slap, slap, pop, and then you go. That is the first part, okay? And you can see what I'm doing with my fingers over here. I'm playing the notes when I have to play. But my my whole hand just goes straight into the strings when I have to do the the ghost notes. But I'm not switching position. I, I'm I'm just pressing down with my whole fingers, okay? Just letting this go through, okay? So here is, it's, you can apply having good technique, especially in your in your left hand, because if you're lifting your, your, your fingers too much, especially on bass, it wouldn't be of help of, 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 of muting and ghost notes, because you're always messing around over here with with your fingers they're always present even if they are not uh, used in a in in the melody or in 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 the notes itself okay they're always doing something so if you have your 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 whole hand lift and you're trying to do you're just wasting too much movement over here instead of doing something like this your he your fingers always present over here, okay? Always trying to to maintain their presence and just ready to act, to go into uh, what you want, uh, if even if it is muting or if it is um, ghost notes, okay? The same thing, the same uh, technique is applied for left hand muting or left hand ghost notes, really. Because when you want to mute something, you want to get the same uh, sound that it won't be that present. So those strings are not uh, sounding. Okay, same deal. So uh, again, with the exercise.
So it's slap, slap, pop, slap. Slap, pop, slap. So I'm doing boom. Note, ghost note, note with hammer on. Again, uh, ghost note and popping. see the difference in rhythm when you just not execute the ghost notes okay all all the that space in between where where uh, kind of like uh, filling it up with uh, with something it's kind of like thinking about the hi hat the the use of the hi hat in um in in drums and differentiate it for 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 uh, you know bass and and and, and snare you know bass drum and snare th is this but you have the um i i mean it's this and your your ghost notes it's always kind of like a, a playing a little bit of a, of a hi hat uh, rhythm you know So then you have applied a, a little bit of a more difficult thing that would be not alternating. It would be just applying two uh, slaps and ghost note a and and pop. Sorry. So you have a two sl two slaps in ghost note. Okay. Remember, my hand is always uh, with all my fingers present, okay? All my fingers ready to act. So it's two slaps, pop, into hammer on from six from five to seven then again another slap and finally popping okay that whole exercise is just an example really for you to to understand more of the technique So it's really important to to equalize yourself in a, in a way here. You need to to compress yourself to do more of the dynamics processing that a a, a digital uh, mixer would do into your own execution. Uh, ghost notes will never be as present as whole uh, notes, uh, you know, full sounding notes. So you need to give m a little bit more attention into executing good ghost notes that will stand out in your uh, playing because if you're playing it it's not just for 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 them not to be heard okay they have to be heard uh, if you want to of course okay so <laughs> always a lot of uh, I think a little bit more pressure when you are attacking on a ghost note okay, to get more sound uh, and there's many examples of course of this you know the usual As you can see, it's kind of like the same deal as uh, strumming. When you're strumming, you're always maintaining your uh, your timing, your your divisions, your beat. It's always present. If you're playing something like this, you're always doing the 16 notes over here, right? 
So it's the same thing. To maintain a good motion uh, with slapping, you're always doing something like this. But you're selecting which notes uh, are tight, which notes will be played. So you end up doing... whatever you want okay um, but that is the technique I would say okay so try to apply it a little bit um, I know it's difficult it's, it's not just doing it and uh, you need a lot of practice and a lot of a uh, slowed down uh, uh, revision of what you're doing okay try to go slow and, and understand and, and having good sound in between you need to always take care of a uh, of noises that are coming from the instrument and for that you need to always as i said be present with your whole hand it's never one finger over here especially on bass it's always your whole hand trying to to grip on one note trying to have everything muted as i'm playing that note you know many things imply trying to maintain your hand always in action over here okay so that's it uh, <clears throat> um, so uh, I hope uh, that helped a little bit okay um, I'm just going to go through some other questions before we go on to songs and, 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 and whatever okay um, Okay, I'm searching for another question that would be great. Um, okay, here's a, a little thing, I guess. Uh, why why I have buzzing sound from amps when not touching strings? Um, but when I do touch, bass sounds goes away. I know that, and, and I've been experiencing it uh, some time. It's mainly because of static in, in some uh, ways, or it's mainly because uh, the circuit is not w well uh, grounded. Okay, so it's usually a lot of noise, and when you touch uh, over here or, or touch the strings, you create the ground that is not uh, uh, well done well done in, in the in the instrument. So you, there's some things that you can do with a uh, with a. Uh, with the circuit, I'm not really sure that, I, so I, I won't give you uh, a good advice on that. But uh, there's people that uh, they kind of like uh, cover the 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 circuit in, in aluminum foil. I've seen that, um, but most of the time uh, you can um, search uh, what is what is wrong with the thing that you're uh, amplifying on. Okay, maybe that is the problem. Okay, uh, when I have a, an old uh, audio interface, I usually had that problem, um, and it end up it ended up now because I I, I now have a DI box that kind of like uh, helps a lot in the in the noise issues that you can have, especially because it has a ground attached into it. Um, when you go into the the DI box, so it, that is a, a good uh, purchase, probably. Um, there's a, a a wide range of uh, DI boxes that you can have, and that w they will improve your sound in whatever aspect. Okay, um, mainly when you're not connected into an amp. Okay, when you're connected directly. Direct directly into mixing or or your audio interface, whatever. Okay. Um. Uh. 
Okay. I would love to know some French. There, there's a lot of people talking in French. In, in, in French. Uh, I don't really know, but uh, I would love to sometime. Uh, I'm actually thinking about uh, having some some more language training, so we can uh, we can all benefit from this. Okay. Uh, I would love to answer your questions in your language. Uh, I would love to do that. Um, yeah, that's the thing. They use shielding. That is the 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 name for it. Um, let me go over some other questions over here. Okay, Mr. Nathan wants uh, to walk through Don't Give Hate a, cha a Chance. Um, maybe I, I will do that uh, more like at the end, if I have some time, okay? Um, I prefer to, if you if you tell me about a, a specific uh, different part, okay? Um... Yeah, I'm just going to to go over that in a while, okay? So, uh I just wanted to let you know of the songs that I played and maybe how they can uh, they can help you in a way. I think uh the things that I've been doing when I upload any video, I hope you've seen it. Uh, I'm trying to comment in the main comment trying to do uh more of an analysis, harmonic analysis of what, what the, the song is about. And, and that I like because you get more ideas of how to construct your own lines. Okay, Especially for uh, when I did um, the Funk 49, I think it was a really good uh, exercise. Especially for uh, some things. <laughs> You know, you you had a lot of uh, action just in one part over here going through A and D and a lot of uh, good um, use of covering up the harmony, okay? That is very, very important. And uh, you had a uh, fuel from Metallica. It's, it's a really good contrast. I like to make contrast usually. Um, and then you, the, there you can uh, go more into into technique, really, into how to use uh, the the peak and trying to maintain good stamina and, and creating a good tone, always aggressive tone, uh, and um, and always really tight tighten up with the guitar. Okay, you always when you're playing metal, you you're trying to tie it up uh, into drums and guitar and, and and doing your your job. Okay. You have a specific job, I think, when you're playing metal in most of the cases, and uh, it's an important job. Okay, it's it's not a um, less or more for that. Um, and actually, Jason, it, 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 I I was I think I admired the line. It it was good. It, it had some some liberties. It, it was nice. Um. Okay, any more questions over here? You have more? Um, have you considered playing Rim Theater songs? I actually have some uh, songs that I have to play because pa patrons ask, ask, ask me for uh, them and so uh, I have to play them. Uh, I think one is um, is from the from the most the most known album I don't remember the one that has uh, pulled me under um, but with that basis it's it's always difficult because of a he is a, a good example of, of well executed uh, a three finger technique and uh, a lot of stamina for that okay um, always when you're applying three finger technique it's difficult if you're not in a ternary um, um line that meaning that you're not doing gallops or you're not doing a uh, uh, orders of three notes even if it is triplets or or gallops or whatever if you're not doing this that is not that difficult because 
it's more organic to to do but if you want to play a uh, four notes in one shape you know doing something like this and and trying to maintain that feel and, and not going out of it and and having good accenting because when you play uh I don't know eight notes or 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 sixteen notes. You're always <clears throat> trying to um, have an accent on the first uh, beat. Okay, it's it's never something like this. You're just going through uh, the the using the this finger as the main finger, but that accenting has, especially if you're playing it slowly. Maybe if it if it, if it is faster doesn't matter that much but you have to have even out um, accenting and trying to accent more of the first beat that will give you more or order in the in that way okay it's one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two. and you will see that that accent it's always displaced when you're playing a with three fingers it's first on the ring hand and the ring finger then on the middle then on the index and then it repeats repeats okay so there's other approach uh, that you can do actually it's i think i find it more difficult but it's it's easier in the in the matter of, of accents because you have you're doing something like this it's not uh, it's not ring middle index it's mm, index middle ring and then middle so you go uh, and then you have to not worry about the uh, the accent because you will always have you lo you will always have the accent on the on the index but for me it's a little bit more difficult i don't know you can uh, let me know um but that's it um i hope i i have a i have that song soon i don't know um take the power back was one of the first song i learned says uh, j3tt i actually that is a song that i'm i'm practicing right now so it's coming uh, really soon Probably next week, I guess. Uh, so um, it's been a little bit, a little bit difficult in some ways. If you if you want to play it just as it is, it's a little bit difficult. But it's it's a really great uh, slap exercise for intermediates, I, I guess. Um, so I I hope you have a good time with that one that I'm going to upload really soon. Uh, you can play some dream theater with a four string uh, i i'm quite sure that uh, uh, that album that i'm just referring to the one that has uh, pulled me under uh, it, it it just has a four string i'm not really sure but i think it just has four strings uh, you can let me know if you're a <laughs> more of a fan i don't know uh, I don't have a six string bass unfortunately uh, I don't have any other bass actually <laughs> uh, this is my only um, and I hope by the end of this year or, or maybe the beginning of the next one I, I could afford a new one because I want to maybe upgrade in some aspects not in, 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 in the sound aspect because I'm just I'm just all for the for the cheap instrument, I think uh, I like I like them even more <laughs> sometimes. Uh, you can get many things uh, well done from them. I don't think I, I don't like the tone I the tone I'm trying to achieve, and and I don't think uh, a new bass will give me um, more ground that I have to cover in other aspects. Okay, it, it probably is uh, easier to to equalize, you know. Uh, a vintage uh, Fender, you know. But uh, I like the to have a bad time <laughs> when I have to when I have to achieve a good tone. Okay, I like to to get mad and and, and not 
not going with the same thing and, and trying to achieve it uh, in different ways. Um, but in construction, I think, and in circuitry, there's di quite a lot of differences in good bases. So I hope I have a, the opportunity to have an, an, another one and, uh, and probably with different uh, a different type of base, probably not jazz. Uh, maybe I would go for for precision, just to have a a different uh, a tone um, that you can get from precisions, or or maybe a five string. I don't know, uh, or maybe a fretless. I would love to have one of those. Really. Um, do you plan to cover some the Who songs? I have a. At the Who song that I have to prepare, it's called uh, "The Real Me." I think I have to 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 actually prepare that one uh, because uh, it's from Patreon, so it should be coming soon. Also, um, yeah, I think the most limiting uh, aspect of covering songs. It would be in the five string uh, area because um, I don't like to just down tune to B and, and having really floppy strings. Uh, they they don't do anything. They're just too much out of tune. Maybe if I, I replace it with a thicker uh, uh, string, but maybe I have to, to do some modifications. I don't like that. I would prefer to have a, a good five string, but uh, you know. <laughs> Instruments are not that uh, that cheap over here. Okay, they are they are expensive, and uh, and it's not like I I can just say okay, let's buy one. Okay, honestly, okay, um, things are are not that. Uh, are, are, are I think that there's more luxury uh, in having a lot of instruments over here in Latin America. I don't know if you share that, uh, but. Uh, it's not a thing that you can just do, uh, especially if you have some uh, adult adult things to do. You know, pay some bills and 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 eat and and some things, some stupid things like that. Um, I'm stuck in the beginning of Panic Attack by Dream Theater. Oh, I don't remember. I think it, it it was a song that I, I wanted to play a lot uh, when I just began uh, and I remember it, it was really hard uh, I think it was something like that, I don't know I don't know if it is the the actual key, um, but yeah, it is difficult because you have to apply uh, a thing that is really interesting to cover probably a little bit, in, 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 and that is um, this thing that I really like trying to do something like this. <laughs> So it it looks it sounds difficult, but it it isn't that difficult if you if you do it uh, slowly and going on, um, and you can do interesting things. It's just trying to apply the raking, okay? So maybe I can talk a, a little bit about raking. I would love to do that since no one asks. Um, I don't even know if if this is the correct way of of writing it i hope it is uh but yeah <laughs> right raking is is applied uh, i think it's just an a name but the thing is just playing um two consecutive notes from different strings with just one finger in your right hand that is all the the, the deal of it okay so you have a um for example uh, a fifth octave uh, deal over here with, with D, you have a, the tonic, the fifth and the octave. When you're going up, you're just doing a probably index, index, middle or index, middle, index 
or some other combination of, of fingers going up, you know. But when I'm going down, I'm just using one finger and I cover all the three notes actually. So it's. And that thing would be really important to manage because it will save you a lot of energy to do some fast uh, things okay especially or even for uh, you know you know that involves a lot of raking there it is the first time and you have uh, many other opportunities in which you have two notes uh, separated by two strings and you should always apply it especially when you're going down you're going a uh, uh, yeah it, it would it would be down you know or up no it's up when you're going up from a uh, um from the g string onto other whatever other string or from from down to up really it's really well applied and you should always try to, to do that so a good exercise is, is trying to play your major scale but trying to go down uh, when you go up you have no option you can't do you can't do raking if you do it over here sorry when you're going down you have a lot of opportunities in this part over here from this string from from a to g you have a opportunity to make something like this with your middle finger and repeat it in the other string and again from uh, e to d so that will give you a lot of a uh, a lot of interesting opportunities to play it faster and to have some combinations okay in guitar it's called sweep picking and, and it's kind of like the same deal as as doing arpeggios uh, with sweep picking you can actually do some arpeggios with uh, with that uh, if you have the ability to to you know just <laughs> And it, it would be really um, fast to apply. So if you do something like this, raking is also applied because you have a, your middle that goes with two strings and then you finish it with your index. So you have one, two, three. And it looks like it is difficult, but it's, it, it isn't after you, you get it. You can go okay it's it's a it's an interesting thing to 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 consider okay if if you haven't it it comes naturally i think uh, especially if you play a lot um to understand that it's it's more economic to just use one finger to go up or uh, um in in any context i think okay alternating is always good for beginners okay in in any concept it's always good to know how to al alternate but after a while i i just can't uh, help myself and I end up doing the raking so I apply it and just not by knowing it really okay so really important to know what this is raking okay um, okay Someone wants uh, tapping, I think. I don't know. Let me let me let me check. I 
I'm I'm uh, I'm a little a little stunned because you, you have a we have a lot of people talking in French over here. I would love to understand you. <laughs> um, okay, I'm 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 trying to. Okay, I, I'm going to talk a li just a little bit about tapping because I don't want to repeat myself that much. Okay. I I gotta be honest. I'm I don't use it that much. I don't use tapping uh, in a really um, you know constant um, practice for my sound and, and for many of the songs. I think I use tapping for a chill penguin stage <laughs> that a, a song that I. I covered for a while ago and I used tapping maybe in some other uh, um, probably a primus uh, difficult thing I don't remember but um, it has some uses in bass and um, if, if if you have some effects involved it, it can sound really great but this the thing and I'm probably sure the thing that uh, that you're not doing right when you're when you're tapping and it doesn't sound good it's just thinking that tapping is just just tapping and and, and it's not it, it's not just doing just going like this okay you need to have hammer-ons but also pull-offs well executed and for doing that you need to to give uh, some leverage to this you need to do for example this is the usual example you already know probably if I do something like this just by tapping you don't get any sound I can't I can barely hear this if I do it just by tapping but look at the difference over here is it sounding better that way it's because I'm all at any time that I'm pulling off a tapping I'm not just pulling in off, off from the from up I'm just putting in pulling it out from the side okay so it's 12 fret and I'm doing so it's tapping and pulling out from the side and then trying to kind of like a play it one more time with my with my pull out okay so if you tap and pull out from the side you will play this string again you know virtually and that will give you more sound than just pulling out to, uh, up you know doing like this so it's always to the side So it's in any context of this it's and of course having a good tapping uh, motion will give you a lot of ground and it's not just tapping lightly you need to apply some force into it to get more more sound from it But physically, in your instrument, it's important also to understand that um, if you have too much of a high action in your in your bass, that wo wo that won't help having a, a nice uh, tapping sound because you you will have too much uh, um, ground to cover. It's it needs to be um, with your strings really close to the fretboard. Okay. So you can fix that. Remember, you can always fix uh, some of the action problems over here, applying a, an Allen key and trying to lower it down. But just try to always adjust your truss rod first, 
and and understanding that you need to have a, 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 a kind of like a a, a good uh, knowledge of how how stra straight you want your your uh, your neck really okay that depends all of that depends but uh, if you want to have a, a really tapping in bold execution of whatever you need really cl uh, low action so it's easier for you to to tap and do whatever you want <laughs> whatever okay um so that's it for tapping okay time to move on okay i don't know if we have more questions if we don't I think I'm going to leave because uh, I don't see any more of them, okay? This is just in the service of the questions, really. Um, so, I don't know if I have some more. You can let me know, okay? I'm trying, trying I'm going to try to extend uh, this a little bit more, uh, and or maybe trying to do it uh, more days a week, so more people can be probably helped. Um, but yeah, doesn't low action make your strings bassy? Um, yeah, it does. Uh, but that is something you need to manage and control, really. Okay, and uh, the th the thing that is important is not having that much of a fret bass that the note it's not even uh, perceivable. Okay. But uh, you you will hear <coughs> some basses that use the fret bass the fret bass as uh, as part of the of the sound really of the aggressiveness probably of the sound of having more of a of a stank into the the sound really and and you will notice it in in most of uh, of flea I think especially when <coughs> when you dig a, dig a lot. <coughs> and you have that applied into your plane okay so if you if you manage to control it in a in a specific way you, you won't have that um, that many problems with that okay but it depends for some songs you want more clean uh, sound and you should get in all your fretboards the opportunity to play without having the fretboards but if you want to m get more into it, um, you can dig more or you can lower your strings, okay? I have it always kind of like a balance, so if I dig a little bit more, I can get some of that. But if I don't... So that gives me more dynamic uh, range, I think. Um, how long have I been playing? It's about seven years, I guess. Um, maybe six. Uh, it's been a long while, really. But um, I'm kind of proud with with the with the advanced. The, the, you know the the advance of, of all of this um i think uh, after some years i never expected to have a you know the opportunity to live out of this it's uh, really amazing really 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 uh, amazing for me um and that is just by playing really it's it's no other than that of course there's other things like transcribing i think is the most important you know applying some knowledge but uh, playing uh, it has served me well and i, I don't consider myself a, a, an excellent bassist okay uh, 
I'm working to get more and more more songs done correctly, and that is my main goal, really. Um, I'm not aiming to be a virtuoso, really. I don't like that. Um, what type of amps do you use or pedals? Uh, I don't use any amps or any pedals, okay? It's all digital. As I always say, uh, I connect myself into the computer and the, from the computer you have a, a lot of plugins, a lot of, uh, a lot of amplitude, a lot of uh, guitar rig, a lot of uh, waves plugins and a lot of uh, Cubase. I use Cubase a lot. It's my main uh, workstation. Um, and I go through uh, an audio interface, Scarlett 2i2 Foxrite. Okay, that's the main sound. That's all the sound. Okay, I like it that way because it's too versatile for me. Okay, I can just uh, manage to to shape my signal as as the context allows me to do. Okay, if so, if I want a more uh, metal sound, a more rock or whatever, it's mainly in the in the final processing that I get the 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 better the better sound. Okay, it's not just me an amp and some pedals because the work that would uh, take to do that just with pedals and, and amps it would be expensive and, and, and more difficult. Okay, um, so. I, I th I think I I probably just go through digital all the way anytime. Okay, I I would never change. Maybe with some pedals, of course. Yeah, I would love to have some of them. Maybe a good amp. Yeah, why not? But uh, it will always go digital and will be transformed in a way. Okay. Um, and I would encourage if you want to sound uh, great. Uh, in your home studio, try to go digital. I think it's a little bit easier. Then you can think about a more analog things if you have the the time, the money, and the the, the space and, and all of those. Um, okay. Um, Do you plan to restart the drum and guitar covers? I want to. I really want to because uh, I liked that idea of, of making the full band uh, things. Um, but the time it, it hasn't been that uh, that in favor of, of that. You know, I have to to get on on a uh, on schedule with many many songs that. Uh, that people are asking me for and and they are paying so it's a it's a good work but it takes some time from from my whole day really to to have a, a good transcription <clears throat> i would love to s to do some reviews really about bass amps or pedals yeah as long as i have one i would probably review it and play along with it and 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 show you what it does. I would love to do that, but uh, I need to to be a little bit more uh, more grounded with my channel, really, to 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 begin doing the, that types of inversions. I, I hope, uh, but it will come. Really, I, I want to have more equipment, but uh, for the other side, I'm always uh, I'm always going for the the do it yourself theme i think do it yourself theme it's important for me and for you to understand that the, you don't need to to have a lot of money really to 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 be good or to be decent or to have a decent sound okay it, it's most many people say it's it's in your fingers when you're talking about bass and, and it is really it is it's a difference of of tone when you play with with your fingers and you play good okay um 
I put everything through Mtrack. Yeah, Mtrack it's it's good. It's a, there's some good um, audio interfaces. There's a lot of a uh, good, uh, you know, price quality rate um, equipment that you can get. Okay. Question: What's your opinion on female classical guitar players, and what would be ch my chances of marrying one as a bass player? <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I don't know many of them. Uh, it's not a, a really common thing. I think there's more men doing that, but um, uh, I wish you the best of, of luck. I don't know. Um, Okay, here's a, an interesting thing outside of all of the chit chat over there, okay? Uh, hey, there's one thing that I've never been able to play accurately from one of your videos. Around the world, or chili peppers in your video, just after you play the intro a second time. Okay, uh, I think I got that. So I'm going to go for... Uh, for my software over here and we're going to try to review some of around the world okay I'm just going to review all of it and then we're going to call this uh, a day I think um, I think I like that way I like it I like just to have a, a song at the end that we can review in a whole uh, matter um, so let's go for it. Okay. This song is from the times that I I wasn't really putting a lot of attention into harmony. So it's not notated into it, but uh but it we can talk a little bit about that now, okay? So we have a you know this Okay, let me have some some metronome so I can follow. So it's a So this this was one of the 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 most uh, I think tasty things that I wanted to to achieve when I just played bass, it's it's a it's a really nice intro, one of the best in my opinion um, that shows what bass can do. It's it's a really difficult to 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 have it clean. Okay, doing something like this, and not even after you do it like like that, you need to have an attitude. You know, if you want to play lively, you need to have more of a of a digging feel. It's a it's it's uh it's it's with a lot of strength so um the deal here is practicing really slow for that part okay um so let's go for the thing that uh that the guy asked let me go for this uh You do an extremely fast hammer on pull off on 12 12 12 10 on the G string. Okay. I know the part really. I think uh, after the intro for the second time, so let's go for that. Um over here you have a <laughs> have this okay so here's the magic thing um, that many people don't understand really and it's um, it's not even three fingers okay it's just doing it really fast so you have a the main the main uh, verse you know 
Zoiets. So here's the thing. As it's uh, notated over here, you have to play the first 12 like this, but then the second uh, 12 over here, you need to make, it's called uh, a grace note or a poggiatura if you want, and it's just applied into the same note, so it's you just go from middle to, to index and try to go really fast that is the thing so it sounds like um, when you play in drums and you and you do two uh, uh, snare drums, but in a, in not in the same time, just differentiated by a by a by a little bit of time. So it's from from from. Okay, I remember it what it was really f difficult because it is difficult, but that is the thing. So you have a. And finishing with a with a little bit of a a little bit of a bend. Again. No, that wasn't that great. Okay, again. There it is. I, th I don't think I, I would notate it in the same way that I did um, at that time. I think the grace note it's more in the first note. Okay. So really f slow it would be beginning with your middle finger and going into the index quickly. So it's So the main thing is just going two notes really fast in the 12, 12 uh, fret and then with the middle again repeating on the on the tenth okay so it's um g f so there it is so you can re uh, repeat it a lot it's Okay, so it's all about rhythm, really, you know, to get the, the a good triplet feel so it sounds like it should sound. <laughs> Okay, 
Um, it is difficult. I remember having a, a really bad time trying to do something like that. It was difficult um, to achieve. But um, you let me know if it helps you a little bit just to, to get it more more understandable, okay? Um, okay. I think uh, we're finishing this up. I don't see many uh, questions, so... Hello from Korea. Always thank you for your fascinating playing and kind teaching. Thanks. Thank you so much. Um, I I love to just, you know, having the reach that these new opportunities have, you know, having people from all over the world, especially from this, that it's so universal, you know. So I, I like it so much. Um... I would love to see more questions, really, um, especially for people that are, are just creating conversations. I, I like that, okay? But uh, there's context, okay, guys? Um, especially for you, for usuals, again, um, if you want to have um, conversations of whatever type that it isn't really in the matter, I don't know if it's fair for for other people you know because you just go through the chat and, and it end up i have to go up so i i don't think it is the, the deal hey? uh, i don't want to to begin just doing the the banning okay but i i want you to have a more uh, responsibility of this um if you're going to add something to the conversation do it but it should be related to, to the goal over here, okay? Think of this as a class, okay? So now you're speaking out loud when you're doing something uh, in the live chat, okay? So create responsibility of, of are, are, am I making noise really? Am I writing whatever? Or, or, I, or, or do I want to create feedback for all of us to 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 understand things uh, better, you know? Um, I I understand if you want to create conversation, but, uh, but let's uh, respect that, okay? And I, d I don't want insults, really. I, I, I don't care if, if you do it in, in whatever other aspect, but... Uh, it's just about the noise that I, I have to read many stupid things that I don't really understand why why they are here on my chat, okay? Uh, but that's it. Um, I'm I'm just saying it just uh, in the for the process of of uh, answering the things or whatever. I know this is kind of like the end of of the of the thing, so I don't don't worry about it, okay? Um, I'm a little bit tired now, so I'm going to leave, I guess. Uh, I want to make this more days a week. I hope so, okay? Uh, so, uh, let me know um, if you want any type of change really applied to this uh, aspect now. It's, uh, it's, uh, it should be it should become a, a better platform for you to to leave a lot of questions and me trying to uh, to to answer really okay um but um i know i have some people over here i know i have s i have people in this channel all of all of us we are uh, we are really comprehensive persons uh, people of course sorry and and we are all intelligent okay so let's understand the, the context of uh, of uh, of the thing. I don't want to get uh, serious because I'm not serious, but um, I'm not serious really in person. But <laughs> but um, I hope you understand me when I say when I said that, and I will say it uh, as long as I as I can because um, the main thing 
here it's trying to help people okay so if you think you're not helping please think again okay um okay i think it's enough for today so thanks for attending um and i'll see you next friday i think uh i hope to, s to do more of this i don't know in a in the in the process of the week i will try to make more of this in different uh, in different um times at different times i think so more people come uh, more people use this okay so that's it uh, thanks for for passing by i see you i'll see you next friday okay goodbye